Morning, JJ. Oops. Brushing your teeth? Got more teeth coming. We're drooling all over ourselves today. <laughs> so, today is a shoulder workout. It has an abdominal finisher. Link or in the description down below will be the link for Ultimate Sandbag. Go rock. And also our stretching. Sorry, our um, dynamic stretching warm up. So, what do you do with a teething toddler? You take him for a walk. <laughs> so our first exercise is going to be shoulder, shoulder um, pike. So as you can see in the video, I did two versions. Bye bye. One with the elbows bent on the floor, the other in full plank position with feet on the ball, and then raising the hips up towards the ceiling, bringing them back down into normal plank position. Did that. You can do it for 10 reps either way. The hardest way is obviously elbow straight, palms on the floor. Uh, that's a good warm up for the shoulders to get into your press. I did um, three different types of presses. Uh, you can press right on the ball from that top of the pike position. That's really tough. You could do a downward dog-like position, come up on the toes, balls of your feet, and do a press there, which is least difficult of all the bodyweight shoulder presses. And then I also did a super tough uh, challenge press, and that is using the folding chairs. You can use maybe two tables of the same similar height, end tables, something like that, something sturdy. Uh, plant your palms on those and then raise and elevate your feet however you can. If you have a high top of a couch, put your feet on, or I use the top step of the step ladder. That way you can get really deep down into the press and activate all the muscle fibers and also get your shoulders really moving up and down and active, right? Activating all those little <clears throat> um, muscle groups that perform different actions at your shoulder blades, like elevation, depression, um, downward rotation, upward rotation, depression, um, retraction, protraction. Um, outside of that, we also, I also demoed um, a press sh from shoulder to shoulder, right? Lap press, we've done it in other videos. It's a kneeling one. You could do it standing. You could do it sitting in a chair. You could do it without any weight at all, just your arms, and it's good for your shoulders. And that would be an option if you can't really bear a lot of weight. And if you can bear a little weight, use a, a bag with that, like a loaded backpack or something. Even a bag of rice or something works. Um, then we had the dips dips we've done before. Uh, legs out straight like I did them is the hardest. The easiest would be legs in close to you in um, a squatting back position and knees bent at 90 degrees, feet flat on the floor and then more and more difficult as you push your feet out and get more into the heels and then most difficult straight legs like I did it. Did that for 20 reps and I also supersetted that with a shoulder exercise, front raise, and lateral raise, you can use like soup cans. Once again, you can use um, uh, milk, milk gallon, if you have a jug or something like that. You could use a water jug. You could use a, with a handle, anything with a handle that's like, has weight, you can use that. Um, then we have uh, your shoulder um, activation, right? Your Ys and your T's out to the side to get your scapula moving. Um, activate those uh, 
trapezius muscles in the back, not just your upper trapezius, which everybody uses every day, especially if they're stressed out or working, especially at a computer a lot. So you wanna activate all of the trapezius, the lower, the mid, get that scapula healthy so that your shoulder joint's gonna be healthy. Um, do 10 reps of each of those, the Ys, 10 Ys, 10 Ts, do two and then two, go back and forth five times, whatever you wanna do, um, mix it up. You could use a stability ball, lean forward on that if you have that, or you could even use a folding chair like I also demoed. Um, then you have your ab finisher. Ab finisher is going to be, we've done it before, bag over shoulder, come up onto your elbow, press up onto your palm, and then raise the hips, right? Keeping that uh, leg on the side your lifting your shoulder up and turning towards in the beginning straight and the other leg bent with the knee net bent and foot flat on the floor right getting all the way to the palm raising the hips off the floor setting the hips back down and bringing the arm back down that not only gets you some abs it gets you that rear delt shoulder and some tricep too which is awesome a little bit of lat control too stabilization so we're still working shoulders, even though we're working abs on that one. And then, finally, you're going to activate your shoulders to hold the bag in front and do some uh, twisting, Russian twists. You can keep your feet flat on the floor, make it the easiest, or make it a little more difficult, and raise your feet off the floor while you do it. That's it for today, guys. Enjoy. Have a great one. JJ? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Da? No. Da. 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 Da.
Да? Да. 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 Да? Да. 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 Да.
Да? Да. 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 Да.